Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read The Day It Rained Hearts by Felicia Bond. And she wrote this book especially for Roger. He must have been a special friend of hers. One day it started raining hearts. You see all the hearts? And Cornelia Augusta caught one. And then she caught another one. And another. It wasn't very hard, so she caught a few more. It must be getting close to Valentine's Day, she thought, and she set to work making Valentine's. The hearts she caught would make the perfect cards. Having a hard time turning. Cornelia Augusta saw that all of her hearts were different. There she is looking at them on the floor. She looked at each one from the front and the back and the side and decided which ones would be just right for each of her friends. She found seven that were more or less alike and she strung them together with a needle and a thread. I know just the right person for this one, she thought. Then Cornelia Augusta took another especially handsome heart and pasted it onto a piece of paper. In the center of the heart, she glued a cotton ball, one that was very white and very soft and she knew instantly who this card would be for. Cornelia Augusta had eight hearts left. On the largest one, she drew circles, and then she very carefully cut them out. The other hearts were so small, she arranged them all on one piece of paper, and around the heart, she painted patterns of many colors. Then she folded her design in half. There was no doubt in her mind who would receive that card. Cornelia Augusta put a stamp on each of her Valentines. How many Valentines did she have there? Let's count them. There's one, two, three, four. There are four Valentines that she has. And then she mailed them. She put them in a mailbox. It never rained hearts again. Not where Cornelia Augustus lived anyway. But look, looks like the dog got the heart necklace. And the little mouse got the heart with the holes in it, just like Swiss cheese. But it didn't matter because the next year now let's look. The turtle got the one with the pretty colors, just like the colors on his shell. Oh, and look what the rabbit got. I wonder why she gave that one to the rabbit. Boys and girls, can you guess why? And the next and all the years after that, Cornelius Augustus found other ways to make Valentines. Now, boys and girls, do you see the trees? What is growing in the trees? Now, I wore pink today because pink and red seem to be the Valentine colors. And you will see many hearts that are pink or red or a combination of both colors. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Bye.